folks. This week we got some projects done around the house. What we're working on this week is uh, installing the little utility sink in the laundry room and our microwave uh, finally came in. We've waited six months uh, for this microwave. It's been on back order. It's a drawer microwave by Sharp and I'll show you installing that as well. Plus some other interesting things. I bet you didn't uh, think anyone did landscaping in November in Eastern Washington. So while it's pulled out, I wanted to show our little utility sink. Um, Tom's working on getting the plumbing connected. See, there's stuff just sitting in there right now. But it's this cute little plastic guy that has these little skinny legs. <laughs> But it's only 18 inches wide, so it's a really nice, um, going to be a nice fit for our laundry room, which only has that much space, <laughs> about 18 inches, <laughs> maybe 19. So we just got the little faucet on, started anyway. I will link to the, this little tub on home, from Home Depot's website. Zip lock there. Oh, nice. Oh, it goes all the way through. I just want to make sure it was going to fit. We just had to knock the holes that comes with these pre-made holes. You can see here and here. You decide which ones you need to knock out. We did that with just a screwdriver and hammer. Quite a bit of cord. Oh, <laughs> you're almost gonna hit me. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to. Oh, and then it connects there. That... Oh, it just plugs in? That was easy. You know, like a regular sink one has a weight. So that oh, yeah, we need something, maybe. I wonder if I, I could just get one of those. That's what it looks like underneath. Uh, i got to figure out where I can't see, so i got to go behind that the torn side. I don't want the torn side. I'm just not right about there. Okay, I'm marking where this cut. is going to attach. This has got to go 
on there. Mm-hmm. And then, I mean. Would the glue stick to the paint? No. No, the glue ABS and PVC plast uh, adhesive, what it does is it melts this stuff. Mm-hmm. So it melts them together. Okay. And so if you got paint on there, it's not going to work. Mm. Never know when a pocket knife is going to come in handy. That's the reason why I always carry one. not to make the pipe any more oblong or anything, just to get the paint off of it. <sighs> get it smooth so the waste goes down the drain instead of getting blocked up right there. trying to open and use is this extra special medium black ABS cement so I think that is so that the pieces adhere and stay put together hang on that for a second so you goop that around Now, the inside out. Got it. Got it. Let that sit for a few and dry. Okay, so it takes a little while to set up. Not very long, but enough to where you don't want to do it instantly. sink installed with Tom's expertise. <laughs> He's laughing. Um, but it was really tight trying to get through here. I mean, the, the whole uh, utility sink is only 18 inches wide. So I can imagine down here it's probably 16. And that's just hard for anybody. Um, but he got the plumbing all hooked up. Um, so we got the waste here, 
and then the hot and the cold connections and then he just drilled and got these self-tapping screws in so now it's not going to go anywhere and it is i mean it's it's a plastic sink it's not like heavy heavy duty but trying to find anything that would be 18 inches and fit in this space was really a challenge and this one came with the all the um faucet everything you see here so that was nice and I'm really gonna enjoy having this right next to the washer and dryer in my little laundry room our last appliance <laughs> Yeah, I pulled the old, the little one out. That... So you're stay back. Yay! We didn't think it was ever gonna get here. <laughs> This must be something. Or we go into right here. Two inches. Um, I think. Okay. So it's I think we were assuming it comes out, three. so it's you know flush with the cabinets. Yeah. So they, the specs. The specs were wrong, obviously. So what we're dealing with is a little bit of a gap. on these. We have nothing to screw to <laughs> where you screw these in on both sides. So it's this, wide enough, but does this should have been narrower. Is this only thing that opens up, right? Other than the drawer, but right. yeah. That this. flips, you know, out so you can read it from up above. Right. Okay. No, that'll work. I'm just trying because yeah. this is going to have to come out a little more than it is. Because mm. you see that these. Oh, pieces. yeah, they're. So it won't, right now they're kind of flush where they'll be actually out further. I don't know if I have any wood that's the right size. Because then I'm going to have to glue them and nail them strips in here on both sides in order to get it in there. Right. We just lifted it up into the hole to see. How it was gonna work. Man, it is real close though. <laughs> <laughs> it's very close, but not perfect yet. I wanted to take a moment to show you the temporary microwave we've been using. Um, this was from Walmart, and I just think it was so funny. It's been hard to get used to the buttons. It's a Hamilton Beach, but I saw on the back it's got a Walmart sticker, so I think they make it for them. But look at this start and pause cancel button. The start button is red. <laughs> does does red mean go <laughs> to you? And blue for pause or cancel is just it's just the weirdest thing. I mean the microwave worked fine, but uh, it's just was a little hard to get used to. Why is there no green for go? I don't know. Can you hold this tight up against there? Okay. Are you pulling okay. So it's 22 and an eighth. That's like exactly where it has to be. Oh my wow. God. <laughs> <laughs> So it doesn't go anywhere. So it's 
one screw in. The center one, just like okay. I did the other one. Okay. Just make this, don't let it move. It's got to stay right in the, it's got to be flush right there. Because <sighs> if it moves, I'm effed. too much or I'm not going to have anywhere to... That's good. That's good? start your time and all that stuff. Yeah, right? so it's show that whoops that light's shining. So it's oh. got some sensor buttons. Quick quick ones. Power level. This is my first test using the drawer microwave. Things are happening in there. Twenty nineteen seconds left, counting down. Okay, it just buzzed. And then I just open the door. 
<clears throat> Let's see how hot it is. Can I lift it out? Ooh, it's a little hot. Hold on. Oh, I had to use a hot pad, so. So I made some noodles. Yay. We're hoping to have some rockery work done on this uh, back side of our house. Want something that will stop the erosion <laughs> from our appliances that we have out here and just stabilize this hill. Bring that wall about to there and then we'll just kind of blend it in. So cool. And I'll fill that washout in a little more with gravel as I build Oh wall, yeah. So. Okay. Cool. Other than the snow, it's looking <laughs> Yeah, you need a warmer coat on. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Hoping maybe we can get rock tomorrow, so I don't know. fingers helping <laughs> hold those rocks in. That was kind of cool. I don't know why. I just love the diggers <laughs> as I call them. So he's been leveling out this hillside and now I think he's using these to get back in where we had some erosion. Yeah, putting rocks. Gravel down there. So I'm not sure if we're going to get rock uh, to complete the excavation project you just saw. It may have to wait until spring because we've got snow now and snow coming this week. So I have a feeling we're probably out of time. Um, so we'll have to pick that project back up in the spring. Thanks for coming along with us this week and happy holidays. We just had Thanksgiving here in the US and Christmas is just around the corner. So wherever you are watching from, hope you have a good winter holiday as well and we'll see you next time. Bye.